Hello everyone, welcome to EZDU and today we are going to discuss about Wheatstone Bridge. Wheatstone Bridge is a simple circuit that is used for the calculation of an unknown resistor. This simple circuit consists of four resistors, two fixed resistors and one variable resistor and the fourth one is an unknown resistor. So using this simple circuit we can calculate the value of this unknown resistor. This circuit consists of four resistors R1, R2, R3 and Rx and between them is connected a galvanometer or uh, ampere meter which shows the flow of current. When this circuit is connected to a battery, the current or the negatively charged particle electrons, the electrons will flow this way to point A. Now at point A, the current will divide it into two, I1 and I2. I1 will pass through resistor R1, then will reach to uh, this point D and then will pass to this variable uh, resistor R2 and will reach here. Now the I2, which is the second current, will follow this path and come this way to this point but this will only happen when these two resistors are balanced now in this simple circuit this r1 is equal to r3 and have fixed value this is a variable resistor and this is an unknown resistor let's suppose we are going to calculate the value of this unknown resistor now for calculating the value of this unknown resistor, we will change the value of this variable resistor. We might increase or decrease the value of this variable resistor. When the value of this variable resistor becomes equal to this Rx unknown resistor, this galvanometer here will show zero flow of electric current to this way. This is because at that point at which this variable resistor become equal to the unknown resistor is known as uh, null resistor. And at null resistor, uh, these two points, this D and B will become at the same potential. When, when they are at the same potential, then the current will follow this path and not move uh, this way or this way. So the current will flow through resistor R2 and Rx at that point when these two resistors becomes equal to each other. Now we have two equation from this whole discussion. The first equation is I1 R1 is equal to I2 R3 or the voltage drop across the resistor R1 is equal to I1 R. Uh, Rv is equal to Ir. This is simple Ohm law. And, see, and this uh, potential drop across resistor R1 will be equal to the potential drop across resistor R3. So we have I1 R1 is equal to I2 R3. And similarly, we will have I1, which is the same I1 current going this way. The potential drop across this second resistor will be I1 R2 is equal to I2 Rx. This Rx is unknown. The potential drop across this resistor will be equal to the potential drop across this resistor. So we have these two equations. Now we are going to divide this first equation by second equation. Dividing this first equation by second equation, we will have I1 R1 divided by I1 R2 is equal to I2 R3 divided by I2 Rx. Now this I1 will cancel out with this I1 and this current I2 will cancel with this I2 current. And we will have R1 divided by R2 is equal to R3 divided by Rx. And we are going to calculate the value of this unknown resistor. So we will solve this. Uh, equation for Rx. Solving this for Rx, we will first multiply uh, this Rx with R1 and R2 with R3. So we will have R1 Rx is equal to R3 R2 and finally we will have Rx is equal to, uh, this is R1. We will have R3 R2 divided by R1 and this is the value of the unknown resistor if we know the value of R3 R2 and R1, we can easily calculate the value of Rx. Now let me show you a simple circuit 
and test their circuit where it is working or not. Now here this is a simple circuit diagram of Wheatstone bridge and this resistor is equal to this resistor. Similarly this, this resistor is equal to this one, this resistor. Now with these resistors are at the same potential then the current flow through this galvanometer will be zero. This is ampere meter which showing the flow of current. Now let's test, turn on the circuit and it shows zero current. Now what happen if these resistors are not balanced? Let's change the value of this resistors to 2 kilo ohm and now let's test again. Now here it is showing the flow of current to this galvanometer. So uh, with the help of variable resistor when we change the value of this variable resistor at one point this will become equal to this unknown resistor and at that point we will have these two equations and we can solve them for the value of Rx. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos.